Good afternoon. My name is Paul Thompson. Right in back of me is a house that is being sold by these sellers who actually three years ago were buyers. I got them into this house and did the financing for them with, guess what, no down payments. They utilized the Washington Bond Program, which is a very, very popular program that I can share with you and give you more details about. I wanted to show this page to you, the viewer, so you can get a better understanding in layman's terms of how this Washington Bond program works. Essentially what you're doing is you're going to be utilizing an FHA loan or a conventional loan. Now FHA requires 3.5% down payment. Conventional, if you're a first time home buyer, requires 3% down. In this case, if you're using the bond program, instead of you having to provide that down payment out of your own funds, the Housing Finance Commission provides the down payment for you on either FHA or conventional. And there's a certain formula that they use to determine the amount of the down payment assistance. Now, how does this work? It's in the form of a silent second mortgage. What a silent second mortgage is, is it's another lien that would get placed on the property. It closes simultaneously with your FHA or your conventional loan. The difference, however, with this second mortgage is there's zero monthly payments on this and there's zero interest. And it's not required to be paid back until one of the following events occurs. You sell your home, you refinance that first mortgage, or you simply run the entire 30-year course of the first mortgage. That's the only time in which this silent second is due. So in essence, you are getting into a home with no down payment. Yes, there's a lien on your property, but you do not have to worry about making payments on that on a monthly basis, nor do you have to worry about paying it back until one of those three events that I just described occurs. I hope you found this helpful. So now I want to show you an example of how this Washington bond works with FHA financing at this property address at 301 Miami Way, Vancouver, Washington 98664. As you see, the purchase price is 295000 The minimum down payment, as I described earlier, is 3.5% of the home's purchase price, which means the minimum out-of-pocket would normally be $10,325. Now, how the down payment assistance works is they have a formula where they take the total FHA loan amount and multiply it by, by 4%. In this case, once you take the FHA base loan, you add the 1.75% upfront mortgage insurance fee, then you come up with that adjusted loan amount times 4%, it comes out to be $11,586. Now you'll see there's an excess now. That assistance that's provided exceeds the minimum down payment by $1,259. Now what happens with that? That can actually go towards your closing costs that may be required for you to pay. Keep in mind, if the seller does not agree to pay your closing costs, you have to come up with that out of your pocket. So you may be exempt from paying out of pocket using this bond program for the down payment, but there are still closing costs and they tend to run anywhere between two and a half to 3% of the purchase price of the home. So, you know, you still may be looking at this purchase price of 295 somewhere up to nine grand or so, potentially. This excess down payment can be applied towards the down or towards the closing cost if you do have to pay those out of pocket. In terms of the monthly payment, as you see, the principal and interest. I determined that or came up with that principal and interest based on this loan amount and based on the Washington Housing Finance Commission website, which you'll see in the very bottom, the link where if you go in there and access that page, you can see on the drop down on the left hand side, you go to today's rates. 
look for FHA with a 1% fee. And I base it on what that interest rate was for this given day when I did this slide. So you got your principal and interest, the taxes, I know just by taking the annual property taxes of this place, divide by 12 months. Homeowner's insurance, I estimate it at 720 a year, which is about the going premium for a property of this purchase price. And then the FHA monthly mortgage insurance factor, which is a flat factor of 0 0.0085. I did all this, added it together to come up with the total estimated monthly payment on this property. If you were to use this Washington bond program on this given day, it would be $2,068.72. So I hope you found this to be helpful for you and give you a better idea of what you'd be looking at for this property using the bond program FHA financing. Next slide I will, I will show you will be for the conventional financing option. Thank you. And now here is the slide for the conventional financing option for the Washington bond program. Before I get into explaining this, you may be asking, okay, which one is better for me, FHA or conventional? And that's a very good question because you could qualify for both. Here is my advice for you. If your credit score is a 720 or higher, I would go with this conventional option. The interest rate is higher on a conventional than FHA. Last that I checked, it was five eighths of a percent higher than your FHA rate. So you might be asking, well, why would I go with this conventional then? Well, the reason why is because the monthly mortgage insurance on an FHA loan is the same. It's a flat 0 0.0085 factor that's used regardless of your credit score. Conventional, on the other hand, their mortgage insurance premium changes depending on your credit score. So the higher your credit score, the lower the premium. If you get it to a 720, you're going to be paying a considerably less monthly MI premium than you would FHA. But here's the other important piece. On FHA, the mortgage insurance stays on your loan forever. Conventional, however, the monthly mortgage insurance, it either goes away on its own after X number of years, or you can apply to have it removed. And I can explain that in a future video and a future file on how to remove monthly MI. But I've seen clients get rid of their monthly MI two years after they funded a conventional loan with me. So keep that in mind is that this MI premium, as you see, is lower than the MI premium in the prior slide and it will eventually go away. So in this case, you're looking at eliminating $145 from this total monthly payment down here. As you can see, the total monthly payment, it's 2113. It's a little bit more still than the FHA, but not by much. And again, keep in mind that, you know, you're going to eventually get rid of this MI premium. But you can notice something else on this. You'll see that the down payment assistance now is exceeding the minimum required down payment instead of $1,200 in the prior slide, now we're talking an excess down payment assistance of $2,596. So more than double you're getting with the assistance with conventional as you are with FHA. And that is simply because conventional only requires 3% down, FHA requires 3.5% down. So in this case, I would recommend the conventional only if your score is a 720 or higher, because that's what this monthly MI premium was based on. As you get to below 720 and definitely below 700, then the payment starts to become quite a bit higher on this conventional than FHA. So with that said, I hope you have found this helpful. You can now see the differences between the two and then decide for yourself which is the most suitable for you. Thank you for watching and listening.
And finally, here is all of my contact information if you would like more information about this Washington Bond Program or any other loan programs for that matter. It has my email address, my office number, and my cell number down here along with my physical address where my office is. The best response that you'll get from me and the quickest response would be to send me a text message. As far as getting pre-qualified, below on the very bottom is a link to my website where you can go online and apply. It takes about 15 minutes. Within a day after submitting your application, I'll be able to come back to you with an answer as far as where you stand qualification-wise. There's no cost or obligation to do this. And I will conclude by saying that even if you feel that your credit score may not be up to par, it is worth it to contact me because I have helped many people over the years that had credit scores in the mid to high 500s to get to this promised land of becoming a homeowner. And it's just more or less just if you feel like your credit is not there, I can give you the steps and the tools necessary to help boost your credit score in a very quick time period and help you accomplish your goal. So I hope you have found this helpful. And I also wanted to say thank you to John Slocum for coming up with the concept for this video, for doing such a great job in listing this property and not only helping get this property sold, but also helping these buyers or these sellers get into a new home. So thank you again, John Slocum. Hope you found this video helpful and I look forward to hearing from you.